Welcome back to Just Scribble for a sticker haul video. So I had ordered some stickers from Lexi Kylie Designs, from Studio Adorkable, and from the Coffee Monsters Co. from the anniversary sale. And I thought we would just unbox them all together in one video. So I'm gonna start with this order from Lexi Kylie Designs. Lexi Kylie is one of my favorite sticker shops. She actually makes my favorite holiday stickers of all time. I absolutely love them. And I ordered some in here, as you can see, because I needed some extras. This is my order. It has a little thank you wrapped around there that says, thank you so freaking much. With the little florals. So I'm gonna take everything out of the packaging and we're going to check it all out. Okay, so what I had ordered were some individual sticker sheets and we'll go through those. I ordered trash cans in the colorful and the neutral. I actually already have them, but I wanted to get some more. I ordered her speech bubble, also in the neutral and the colorful way. I ordered her calendar sticker. These are all mini stickers in the neutral and the colorful. And then I ordered some of her oops grab bags. So I ordered her oops grab bag mini icons oops grab bag functional and let's see oops grab bag deco and journal and oops grab bag functional so i ordered premium mat in the oops grab bag for the mini icons and also for the deco journal but in the functional i ordered a combination i ordered two oops grab bags so one in the premium mat and one in the transparent. So in here we have my oops grab bag orders and then the stickers that I ordered as well. So we're going to open up this little pouch and this should be the ones that I ordered, the sheets that I ordered on my own. So I ordered her trash cans. These are her trash can stickers and they come in a colorful and a neutral colorway. I really like these for marking trash bags in my everyday carry planner. And then I ordered her speech bubbles. I think they are so cute. I just really love the hearts. Also in colorful and in the neutral. And her neutral, they're not neutrals where it's like all beiges. They're just muted colors, which I really like because I don't like all beige in my planner. Some weeks, yes, but most of the weeks I like color. And then her calendars, same way in the colorful and then in the neutral color way. So those are the individual sticker sheets that I ordered. And then the rest of these are my oops. These came like that and then these came bagged. So these are my freebies. I got this adorable little tulip paper clip. I love decorative paper clips, so I really love that. And then I got her April freebie. I love the colors of this, so pretty. And then I got her little thank you card with a discount code to shop again. And then on the back, it's a little journaling card. Earmuffs, if you have kids watching, it says it's not hoarding if your shit is cool. And then these are my grab bags. So this is the icon grab bag. This is the functional in the transparent. This is the functional in the matte. And I thought I had ordered an extra sheet of these, but I didn't. It actually is part of the grab bag, which is awesome because I need them and I forgot to order them. And then this is the journal deco oops bag. So these two stickers, these are freebie stickers. This is her 2023 freebie from Black Friday. And this was her December freebie. So I got these little freebies. And then let's start with the functional. So I did get the moon phases and this is for 2021, but you can use the moon face stickers in any year. It's just that it gave you the answers for 2021. So I just have to look it up when it's a full moon versus a new moon and all that. And I can use these in my planner. So these are the moon phases. These are her script days of the week. These are her day off stickers with the little heart, which I love. These are tabs, which is awesome because I actually needed some more tabs. I do have a different set of tabs from her that are clear and foiled, but I don't have this style. So these are her small monthly tabs. Then I've got some mini boxes in the neutral or muted colorway. And then skinny brush strokes also in the neutral. Then I have this winter sampler, which is foiled and it's so pretty and then i got the script holidays her holiday stickers are my absolute favorite and these are actually 2023 and just like the moon phases you could use these in any year it's just that she gives you the answers of when the holiday is so that it's easier to place them down which i greatly appreciate but one of the reasons that i really love her holiday stickers is i love the mix of the script and the plain font in her 
holidays. It just looks really pretty in your planner. And since I am now redoing my work planner, I need a new set of holiday stickers and I got them in my oops bag. So it could not be more perfect. So those are the matte and then these are the transparent, which also have holiday stickers, which is awesome because I use them in my monthlies and also my weeklies. So in here, we got another set of monthly tabs. So these are transparent like the other set that I have, but these are with black font, not foiled. I got the 2023 in the small holidays. So these are her two sizes, just so you guys, I've shared this before, but just so you guys can kind of see them compared to each other. I got work. That is awesome because I use these all the time and I was running short. I got this summer edit section. So these are brush stroke headers and they say work, home, to do, appointment bills, tasks, shopping, reminder, ASAP, and work. And they're in like a green and then a yellow and then a pink. And then the summer edit in these medium dewdrops that coordinate. Monthly scripts trackers. I love her variety header script because she mixes a bunch of different fonts and then I can pick a font that coordinates with the deco of that week's spread. So I really, really like them. So trackers and then payday. And then this is the February freebie. So those are the transparent functional oops bag stickers. So that's all the functionals. And then these are the icons. So I got the TVs. I like actually using these to mark YouTube. And the little laptops. The crock pot or slow cooker. The stethoscope to mark doctor's appointments and it's drawn in a little heart, it's so cute. Bow paper clips. I actually have um, TVs, I like them. I use them a lot, but I don't have these others and I really like them. Then I got music notes. I got a 2022 holiday. So this is her other holiday style where it has a little graphic next to it. And once again, even though these are from 2022, you can use them in 2000, you can use them in 2023. You just have to look up the right dates for the things that aren't the same date every year. And then I got these mini skinny brush strokes in the bright colors. And then a little freebie. The brush script font with the months of the year. So that's my icons oops bag. And then this is my journaling oops bag. I've actually never bought any deco from her, so this will be new. So I'm kind of excited about this. So I have this deco sheet that's wild at heart. It's the Issa Vibe deco. And then typewriter days, and those actually kind of go together. And then colorful boho months, those actually go together as well. So it'd be kind of like a little set. And then this is the honey journal deco sheet. So pretty. And then this is page two of that sheet. I really like these. I really like these. I think they're very pretty. And I love her matte paper, it's so soft. And then this is Mistress of Evil perfect for Halloween and October. And this is cozy, perfect for winter. And then this is the second page of the cozy. All in all, I think that I got some awesome, oops, bags. I got things that I love and I use and I needed more of, and I got things that I don't have, but that I've been looking at on her site. I just hadn't ordered. So I'm really excited for what I got out of her oops bags. And I think it's a really good value. So I'll put all that information down in the description box down below. And then of course, these are the ones that I ordered myself that I wanted and then my freebies. So that is my order from Lexi Kylie Designs. Like I said, one of my favorite sticker shops. I really, really like her stickers a lot. So I'm really excited for that. So that's unboxing number one. 
And then if I can figure out where I set the other one, this is unboxing number two. So this is from Studio Adorkable. So this is a newer to me shop, but I have been kind of obsessed and kind of placing a lot of orders. I think this is my second order this year. No, I think this is my third order. Second order for this year, but my third order. I think I ordered one before Christmas. And then I ordered one that was all digital because she does have digitals. Then I ordered this one and I've since placed another one because she came out with Friends sticker kits and they are so cute. They are adorable. So like my order with Lexi Kylie Designs, I ordered some sticker sheets on my own from Studio Adorkable in this order. And I also ordered two of her grab bags and then some digitals because I really like her digitals and I've been playing with my new silhouette. So I've been buying some of her digitals so I can use them to play with my new silhouette. So we'll open this bag first because this should be what I ordered on my own. This is a large die cut sticker that says write all the words. It's super soft. So these are her large, large deco sheets. These are all three in transparent. Some of them are named after colors. Like one is called velvet or smoke. I forget. I'll have to put all that down below. But these are the three transparent ones that I ordered. I just thought they'd be really fun to put into my planner. And then these are planner deco sheets that are on matte. They're so soft. I really like the style of these and I thought that they would be really easy to just add one or two to my spreads to decorate for the week. They won't bulk up your planner because they're really, really, really thin. And these are two more. So these are like in the gray tone and then these are like in the beige tone and then the yellow tone so there's that one and then that one and then that one and then that one and then this is her mom balance sticker which i love so i got one of those and then my kiddo loves to bake and although it is definitely not christmas time i wanted to order one of these kits so i would have it in time for Christmas and I wouldn't have to remember to order it later. So I'm going to put it in my sticker organizer, which I'm going to have a video on how I organize stickers because I've done a couple of videos too, I think, on sticker organization since I started my channel with the way that I was originally organizing my stickers and then the way that I moved it to because the first way wasn't really working. And now I have a new way, which is really awesome and working really, really well. I really like it, so I want to share it with you guys, but I'll be putting it in there. But this is the Great Holiday Baking Planner Sticker Kit, and it's a journaling sticker kit. So you have one page of decorative boxes. We like the Great British, bleh, we like the Great British Baking Show, and so that's what this is kind of after. So I know he'll absolutely love these. So one sheet of deco boxes, and then one sheet that has functional boxes, your days of the week, your checklist things, and then some deco, and then a sheet that has your to-do list banners, your functional boxes, and your washi. Sorry if I was off the screen. So it's a three sheet kit, and it was just too cute. I couldn't pass it up. So those are the things that I ordered that weren't digital and weren't oops bags. And then these are the two oops bags. So I won't necessarily know the names of everything that are in these oops bags, but we will open them up and check them out together. So I got Halloween treats. I think her illustrations, which she hand draws, are just adorable, and I really like that. I get kind of frustrated when I buy stickers from a sticker company and I realize that they didn't hand draw them. Not because there's anything wrong with that, it's just that then I notice that other sticker companies sell the same image or the same stickers, and then everything looks like everyone else's planner, and I like my planner to be uniquely mine. So I really like that she hand draws her stickers, and then I can use them and mix and match and do what I want with them. But I got pumpkin treats, planning the holidays night out responsible and another night out in blonde and then this is the velvet cotton planner kit I'm not 100% sure if this is vertical sized or Hobonichi cousin size so I'll have to measure it and see but that's page one of the velvet cotton then page two and then page three. 
So very much like most sticker kits that you get for your cousin or your vertical planner, it has the days of the weeks and your checklists, decorative boxes, functional boxes, to-dos, washi. I just really like her styling and her drawings. And this is Neverland. So this is inspired by Peter Pan. So there's some decorative boxes. And then here is a kit, Get three sheets. So first sheet, second sheet, and third sheet. And then this is Grit and Grace. I've actually been buying sticker kits. I don't know why, I'm not a huge fan of sticker kits, but some sticker kits just look so cute when other people use them. And because I am using a few different planners this year, I wanted to see kind of how they worked and maybe I would want a sticker kit in some weeks. I definitely wouldn't be a person that would use them every single week, but I thought it'd be fun to play with some sticker kits. So I've been buying a few and some printable ones to test out like printing stickers with my silhouette. And so I'm kind of excited to get these so I can use these to test out. But this one is called Grit and Grace, first sheet. Sorry if you can hear my boys in the other room. Second sheet. And third sheet, and this one is, and this one is Healer Christmas, based on, I think the dog is blue, is that the name of the dog from the cartoon? I think that's what it's based off of. So first sheet, and the second sheet, and the third sheet, super cute. And then this is the Discipline Journaling Kit. So you get two sheets, I'm gonna turn it this way so you guys can see it better. One sheet and two sheet. Lots of fun stickers for your money in these grab bags. And of course you don't have to use these as kits. You could use them all different ways. So you could take the days of the week and use that to do your daily pages or your journal pages or to cover up the dates on planners you don't like, like the Hobonichi Cousin if you don't like the color. And then you can take some of the decorative boxes and use them throughout the year. And then you can use the functional. So you don't have to use them like together as a kit. So that is oops or grab bag. I think she calls them grab bags. Grab bag number one. And then if I can get it open. So we have Storyteller and then Night Out. Now these are grab bags, so you could end up with duplicates like I did, which is fine with me. Pumpkin Coffee, Fall Planner, Protein, that is so cute, and Responsible. And then I got the same velvet cotton again. So one page, two page, three page. And then Neverland again with the extra deco boxes. And then page one, page two, and page three. I'm actually excited to get duplicates of some of these because then I can use them in different planners and I can see how they would work in different planners. And maybe we do like a plan with me with the same deco sheet in my A5 common planner and then one in like the Kinbor or my Hemlock and Oak or something else. And then this is Dino World. I might use this the week of my little boy's birthday. Super cute, like the little dinosaur with the balloons. So page one, page two, and page three. And then this is the Dino Park journaling kit. So you get two sheets for your journaling kit. Sheet one and sheet two. It's like Jurassic Park and it's so cute. I love how she takes inspiration and then she makes the images work with her drawing style. And then this is Grit and Grace, which we already saw. So one, two, and three. So for these ones that are duplicate, I'll probably put them aside and then we'll have to do like to plan with me if that's something you guys would want if you would want to see like a plan with me in one planner and then the exact same kit in another planner in the second video so you guys could see different ways you could use these planner kits that would be a fun thing to do but that's my unboxing from studio adorkable like i said i am 
addicted to her stickers and her drawing style. I just think she's an amazing artist and I really like her stickers and so far I really like her printables too. They print really well so I'm really excited that she offers printable options and like I said she did just come out with friends which I absolutely love friends and so I did order those in all of the styles and all of the sticker sheets so that is coming it'll be here in a couple weeks and I'll unbox that with you guys and then she is going to offer that in printable as well and when she does I'll be buying it that way I can print it and use it as many times as I want in whatever year that I want so the last part of this unboxing is my anniversary order from the coffee monsters Co. I tried not to go too crazy with my Coffee Monsters Co. order and try not to get swept up in all of the things. I do really love the Coffee Monsters Co. But I don't need 80 million stickers. And I'm also enjoying buying from other shops and supporting different brands. And so it's been kind of fun to buy from other people. And so I'm definitely trying to limit how much I buy so I can support some other companies as well. But I did buy her tote bag because it was too stinking cute. So let me take it out of the plastic. Yeah. Pass up a good tote. So on the back it has this pocket, which is awesome. And then on the front it has the Coffee Monsters Co. Emoti with the planner and the brush pen and the ruler and the stickers and all the things. And then it has handles inside, but it also has a pocket inside that has a bigger part here and then two pen slots here and it is gusseted but it's not too deep or wide which I appreciate because sometimes you just need a slimmer tote bag and you don't want to bulk everything up so I did get the tote bag let's leave that there which I think is super cute and then this is the insert I'm sure you've seen other people's unboxings but this is a standard size traveler's notebook insert, which is wonderful because I did recently get a very slim traveler's notebook starter kit from Chic Sparrow, which I have an unboxing of, so you can check that out. But this has beautiful dot grid, dot grid paper in it with the emojis on the front. And then this is plain and these will be perfect in that traveler's notebook. And then this is the little package with my order in it. It's the TMC Times. It has a comic strip. It's like newspaper themed. I'm going to figure out a way to repurpose this. Let's scoot out of the way though for a second. Okay. So I got her little washi tape tape dispenser. And then I've got some die cuts. The world is lucky to have you. The March sampler, blob mode, and in my tummy. Another die cut, buy new notebooks is a form of self care. And then we have some freebies. So I have clover leaf freebies. It's like a four leaf clover when you put them all together. So I have one, two, three, and four. So there's one, there's two. It's kind of like in the order of your day. There's three and there's four. Got the little pouch. I like sticking those on the inside of my dashboards and then the inside of my notebooks. I got some emoji heads and this is like on washi. It's so soft. Got journaling card. I'm going pretty quick through this because A, it's a lot of stuff, but B, I know other people are unboxing them as well. And then I got the little like uh, vellum. It looks like a little newspaper. Another journaling card. I already looked at the notebooks. Let's just kind of stack all this stuff up. I got some washi, it's stationary. I did not buy everything like I said because I don't need everything and it just seemed like a lot. So I bought the things that I was most in love with. Got this little cuteness sticker and then I got speech bubble icons, parcel doodles, car doodles, mail doodles, tea and gossip, 
pen swatching, academic desk scenery, vintage emojis. I really love the vintage emojis. So that was planning time, me time, planning time, me time, happy, sad, happy, sad, shopping mall, aging, the seven year anniversary sampler, the seven year anniversary sampler. I actually bought four of those. I love samplers. They are my absolute favorite. Lucky charm doodles. And then in here, I got her 2022 samplers. So all the samplers from every month in 2022, I buy these all the time. And then I put these in my reusable sticker book that I carry in a passport cover from Sojourner that I carry in my bag all the time. And that's what I use when I'm out and about or on the go and I want to add a sticker to my planner. I pick from the sampler stickers that I put in there. So I got two of the 2022 sampler stacks. And then this is an assorted sticker flake little folder of sticker flakes or a little envelope of sticker flake stickers which are so cute so that is my order from the anniversary sale from the coffee monsters co and my order from studio adorkable and my order from oops Lexi Kylie Designs. So that is my haul unboxing I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. I will definitely get back with you. Make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. Give me a thumbs up if you liked this video and don't forget to just scribble.